Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a window and attach a lintel to the window and then save that window and lintel object combination back into the catalogue for future use. So first, new project, 2D view and a 3D view and we'll just arrange those and we'll select our 2D view and zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. Um, I'm going to place an external wall here and the reason I need a wall is because I'm going to place a window in the wall and the only way to see the window is to have a wall and I'm going to choose a window from the standard window catalogue and here we have the ability to choose a window let's choose this window here and we're going to, it's preset with a, a 1 meter, 101 size, Let, let's change this to 1 meter and we'll say OK and place that window in our wall and it doesn't matter which way, this is the outside of our window, that's the inside um, the sill height is always on the outside so let's go in here and first of all I want to get rid of the sill height um, label because it's going to be in a way what I'm actually doing and let's just zoom in the, the window in the 3D view right we're going to place our window lintel on top of our window and we're going to use a block for that. Now the blocks can be found in your objects and miscellaneous basic forms and we can use any of these blocks. I'll use a cube here and we just drag the cube here and you can put the cube, turn the grid off so we don't snap to the grid like so. Let's just zoom in a bit better so we can see where we're placing the block um, so I'm going to place the block like that which is obviously the wrong height, the wrong size and so we are double click on the block and we can. first thing we can do is change the size and we've got to change all of these dimensions individually so we switch the scale distorted on which allows us to change that to 1.5 and you can see that's going to be the size of the, the, the length of our lintel. Um, the next thing we're going to do is change the um, height of the lintel. Let's make this 0 0.1 and I'm doing this one step at a time so we can see what's happening. So that's going to be the height of our lintel and the width of our lintel, let's make that 0 0.2 okay obviously this is, needs to be the, exactly the same size of the lintel you want now in the 3D view we can't see the lintel because it's actually in the wall but we can still see it in the um, 2D view to see it in the wall we can just turn the wall off by saying right clicking on the um, 3D view selecting visibility and just switching the wall off and there's our lintel and we can now either select this in 2D or 3D view double click on the lintel and we're going to change that lintel its height from the floor and it's set it to uh, let's set it to 2 meters that's too high um, 1.9 there is a scientific way of working this out because you know the height of the sill height of the window and the height of the window you can actually calculate where the top of the window is but I've done it quite well by guesstimate there and so there's our lintel now the next thing we can do is we want to make this lintel if I show you the um, wall again we want to make the lintel just proud of the wall and to do that we select that in the 2D view keep clicking until the actual lintel turns red means it's selected 
I can just go for each one and place it there. If your window completely disappears, just close the view and reopen the view and you'll see everything's redrawn, it gets recalculated. So there's our lintel and the lintel is not on the correct side. We've actually placed the lintel protruding from the internal side of the wall. So let's just move that. Because if you remember, this is the exterior side. And I'm going to snap that just to there. And there's our window with its lintel. Now, that still is not a single object, so we can't save that to the catalog. So what we have to do is select the both the, the window and holding the shift key down, then select the lintel. That, and then what I can do is group those into a single object. And now I want to save those to the catalog. So we go to export, 3D formats, 3D object file. This is the standard format file in the catalog. There's a previous one I've done just for a test and we're going to call this window lintel 100 just to be different. OK and we have to select select objects only otherwise we'll save the wall and everything else which is in that project um, as part of the object so only the lintel and the window are selected so click that to make sure we're just going to save those objects and say OK and that gets saved into our catalog so if we now go looking for where we saved it as an example there's the new lintel window like so um, it still won't be recognized as a window. I can't just drag this into the wall because it's just an object. So what we have to do is tell the software that this is a special window or a special object. And in fact, it is a, um, where is it? It's in the common information. It's here, object type. So you can see it's a standard object and we need to make it into a window object. And if you save it you must click on add or replace otherwise you lose your edit okay but dragging this into the wall still won't make any difference because there's another thing we have to do we actually have to tell the wall about the opening that the window wants so again back into our chunk editor and select opening element this time and if i click on here I don't know, we will create the contour for the element and there's a tool in here which says fire and contour and what that does is create a set of points where our opening is going to be. I can round those down so we don't need that high precision and select show opening solid. Now that is the contour of the opening we're going to create which is not quite correct because obviously we don't want this hole here against our window. It'll be very drafty for a start. But this point, the first point here is this point here. This point is this point. So we need to create a new point to bring this in here. So we insert there, new, and notice we have a zero, zero point, and that's moved this point to the zero position, which is the center of the object. So what we need to do is now bring this point back up to there. So we select that and say edit point and the x value will be the same as the next x value. So this is this value here which is 0.5321. When you start doing this it's best to change one point at a time so you can actually see what you're doing. And the y value is going to be the same as the previous y value. So that will then bring this point back up to here. So we edit that again and our Y value is 0 0.4686. Okay. 
and we have to do exactly the same for the other side. So the last point is this point, this point is this point, so we want to create a new point here which is here. And nope, I, went, I missed that out. Um, delete that point because we, we don't want this over here, we want to create one over here. So we delete that and new point there, that's better. Um, and again my Y point is going to be the same as my, um, so my X point is going to be the same as my previous X point which is this one and if you don't want to type you just go in there, copy, paste and my Y point wants to be the same as my next Y point which is this one. So we copy paste and there we have our object with the cutout information. Important again add or replace. It's important that you do that otherwise you lose all your edits. Okay and there we have our window and let's see what happens when we drag our window into our wall. Voila! It knows about the cutout, it knows about the lintel, and obviously we've, got, uh, we, we've turned that round so we can actually um, drag it the other way so we can see what it looks like in the wall the right, right way around.